Before Europeans arrived in Australia, water moved more slowly through the landscape. There were many wetlands, swampy meadows, and chains of ponds. Vegetation flourished along the waterways, which captured sediments and gradually built up the soils in the valley floors. Moisture was stored beneath the floodplain where plants could easily reach the water table. During dry times, the water flow remained beneath the surface. In wet times, the flow spread out across the floodplain and valuable nutrients were captured and recycled by the dense vegetation. These rich, fertile floodplains were widespread. When European settlers arrived, they found the dense native grasslands and abundant water supply ideal for sheep and cattle production. The new farming practices had major impacts on the fragile Australian environment and dramatically changed how water moved through the landscape. Trees were cleared and grasslands were grazed to the ground, removing the very vegetation that had slowed the water flow and built the fertile floodplains in the first place. The water picked up speed and the landscape began to erode. Incisions cut deeply into the fertile soils, taking the nutrients and sediments with it. The newly formed erosion channels acted as drains, dropping the water table to the channel floor and drying out the wetlands. The continuous channels concentrated the water flow and made it faster. Very little vegetation remained to slow down the floods and more nutrients were lost downstream rather than being deposited on the floodplain. Similar processes have occurred across Australia, with incised streams flowing faster and with more energy, continuing to strip away valuable soil, organic matter and nutrients as they go. At the Maloon Institute, we strive to restore the original landscape function that produced the fertile valley floors discovered by the early settlers. A pilot project undertaken in 2005 by Tony Coop and his wife Tony, along with innovative landscape thinker Peter Andrews, has been a great success. Leaky weirs were installed along a three kilometre stretch of Maloon Creek, and vegetation planted to slow the flow and reinvigorate the floodplain. Now it's a healthy, vibrant ecosystem, which has increased the productivity on the floodplain by over 60%. The pilot project has now been expanded into the Maloon Community Landscape Rehydration Project across the entire Maloon Creek watershed. The Maloon Institute is working with 20 landholders along 50 kilometres of creek and over 23,000 hectares. The new project has been recognised by the United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions Network to help in the development of guidelines for sustainable, profitable and productive farming. The Balloon Institute aims to help other communities rehydrate a hundred landscapes across Australia by inspiring them and equipping them with the skills to rehydrate their own catchments. Our vision is to see thriving, resilient landscapes, rich in soils and biodiversity, providing water and food security for all Australians.